In my op-ed over at HartmanReport.com, I was quoting the results from a 2016 poll that was done uh, leading up to that, that presidential race by the Progressive Change Institute. It was a nationwide poll. And uh, here are some of the numbers, and I'll, I'll pick up your calls in just a second, but 84% uh, of Americans, this is all Americans, right? 84% want the government to negotiate drug, drug prices. 79% support expanding Social Security, which both Haley and DeSantis last week said they were going to cut. 78% want fair trade that ends shipping our jobs overseas. 77% want to tax corporations that have moved jobs overseas. 77% want universal free pre-kindergarten. 74% of Americans want to be able to buy into Medicare for all. 71% want a massive infrastructure program. 70% want free college. 68% want a guaranteed minimum income. 67% want the government to be the employer of last resort, like FDR did with his alphabet agencies. 66% want the morbidly rich to pay at least a 50% income tax. They pay right, right now around 3%. 65% want the big banks broken up. 64% um, want net neutrality. I mean, it just goes on, right? So uh, <laughs> why don't we get these things? Why is it that people want this stuff and literally we're not getting it? Well, you know, I think the answer is fairly straightforward. It's because the Supreme Court legalized political bribery. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. And, you know, which is, I guess, the point that I was, that I was making before, um, you know, before the break. But this very, you know, Gillens and Page did this study back in 2014 where they looked at who gets what out of the American political system. And what they found was that if you're rich, more than half the time, you get what you want out of American politics. If you're middle class or poor, the probability of what you want, and I just read you the list, the probability of what you want, is, of you getting what you want, or Americans getting what they want, is equivalent to random noise. It's statistically insignificant. In other words, our political system is not paying any attention at all, meaningful attention, to anybody who earns under a million dollars a year. And, you know, and, and why? Because the Supreme Court legalized political bribery, the GOP said, great, we'll take it, and now the entire Republican Party is on the take, and they only serve the billionaires, the morbidly rich, and these giant corporations, and, and, a, and a handful of industries, the fossil fuel industry, the tobacco industry, the chemical industry, uh, et cetera.